Look at this, a Montgomery County patrol car vandalized, windows shattered, huge dents in the side of the car. You would think that a pretty good sized weapon would be needed to do this much damage, but the real culprit, a toilet seat. You can see it here in this photo at the bottom right corner of your screen. And the person accused of wielding this bizarre break-in tool found passed out inside the car. Joel Eisenbaum live in Conroe and Joel, not your typical weapon of choice. No, I wouldn't say so. Dominique, as you know, I'm a certified investigative reporter, and I had a desire, a need to figure out who brings a toilet seat to the scene of a crime. Well, I think I've sleuthed this one out, and the rest of that toilet is actually inside that dumpster about 20 yards away. So I think it was a tool of convenience. At any rate, it's pretty clear that whoever committed this crime didn't think much about the getaway portion. Early Monday morning in Conroe, someone inflicted some serious damage on a parked police car. Smashed the back window, uh, more body damage on the door, the back door, the rear door, and the front door. The Montgomery County Precinct 2 Constable's Office owns this cruiser, a police car just put into service two weeks ago. The suspect responsible for the vandalism, according to police, didn't even bother to leave the scene of the crime. The suspect was seated behind the steering wheel in the driver's seat when the Conroe police officers rolled up. 19-year-old Dionis Luke Estrada is now in jail, in the process of being charged with criminal mischief. Police say he was drunk when he used a toilet seat and a concrete parking barrier to damage the police car, a car that has thousands of dollars worth of taxpayer-funded repairs ahead of it. The suspect offered no explanation regarding a motive, police tell us, but a veteran chief deputy says it's pretty clear. Just another attack on law enforcement. We've come under attack coast to coast, and this is just a continuance of it. It's a sad situation. Now, the constable's office has not officially tallied the damage to that patrol car, but if it's upward of $1,500, that's a state jail felony, and this guy could face, if convicted, up to two years in state jail. We're live in Conroe tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.